What is up, my butter biscuits? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson and Tati Westbrook. It's been a hot minute since they've been around. They both have been off of social media now for almost six months. It's been since June since they've actually uploaded. So within this video, I'm going to be talking about them releasing new products while they're on their uh, social media hiatus. A lot of people kind of miss Shane and miss Tati as well, too. However, there is super mixed emotions and feelings about them returning to the internet because obviously they have both been in their fair share of scandals and drama and stuff like that. So within today's video, though, we are just focusing on them releasing new product and basically you know them being gone from social media and releasing product and seeing how people feel about that because a lot of people did have a lot to say about this on social media some people are just kind of like wow how are you going to go and be gone from social media for this long not create any content but still be um you know putting products out there and i just wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about this because like i said there are very mixed emotions about this some people are like you know what i love shane i love tati i want them back and you know what they're taking enough time to obviously you know reflect on things within their past and it's time for them to come back to social media but then you have that other group of people that are just kind of like no they need to stay gone like I want them gone from the internet completely don't be putting out any new products just stay gone so within this video it's basically just your guys's thoughts and opinions while I give you guys all the details on what is going down and as well as I did want to talk about um Halo Beauty um obviously Tati Westbrook's brand within this video because I keep on hearing such amazing things about the brand and about those vitamins so I'm like really curious to actually try them for myself however I will go into a description of what I wanted to try and you guys can give me your feedback on that if you guys have tried that so that's going to be today's video if y'all are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified when i upload a new video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that and let's go ahead and get into it all right y'all before we talk about shane dawson i'm gonna go ahead and talk about tati westbrook first it's been a hot minute since she's been on social media the last time she posted her video which is now her infamous breaking my silence video which was posted on june 30th so it's actually almost been six months since she's been gone from the internet and everyone's kind of wondering what's going on with her she is in the middle of a lawsuit and y'all so many people emailed me and dm me to talk about this however i just want to go ahead and touch on this topic one more time before we get into this video specifically i am not going to talk about anything that has to do with any legal type of matters y'all know i do not have the money to get a lawyer so i talk about what is out there i don't talk about things that are like you know found on somebody's you know background check basically because i feel like that's low-key a little bit stalking and i'm just not into that whatsoever i would not want somebody doing that about me so i won't do it to them because y'all I don't know there's just a certain drama channel out there who kind of like paid to like dig up things and I'm like y'all that is doing the most y'all know whenever I talk about something it's literally just what's out there on the internet I don't go digging for things and paying for like legal records on things to me that is just a trip and Oh, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's kind of scary to me to be honest with you that people do that. I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. Like I totally understand journalism and people obviously digging for research on things. However, to like pay for people's like legal documentations and stuff like that, it's a trip. So I know a lot of people did ask me, are you going to cover this because she is in the middle of a lawsuit against her uh, business partner? No, I will not be discussing that. I won't talk about legal things. Y'all know I don't even really like to talk about like dark things. You know, if it has to do with you know certain types of allegations, um, I just feel like it's just too much for me, and I feel like. Y'all, I'm going to just talk about the lighthearted stuff, and that is it, and what is out there on the internet, whether it be on Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, things like that. I won't talk about things that are meant to be private. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving forward about this, I'm sure everyone knows, obviously by now, the video that she had posted on June 30th, Breaking My Silence, a lot of people were waiting for that video because she had been gone from social media since May 4th, so she hadn't posted in over one month, almost two months, and everyone was just kind of like, what's up with Tati, like, where'd she go, because a lot was obviously going down between Shane Dawson, James Charles, Jeffree Star, Tati, it was just a big mess, and everyone was waiting for her to come back to the internet. I don't know if you guys remember, actually, during this time on Twitter, she was, like, posting little teasers about it to me it was such a trip and i just felt like it was so over dramatized i'm just like y'all she was like literally posting clips of a song and music onto her twitter to kind of get like people worked up waiting for her video and i was just kind of like girl you are doing the most like just come back to the internet make your little statement do what you got to do but you're over here posting clips of a song i'm like girl give it up anyways y'all so this was her last video and now coming forward to uh this you know what i believe it was about a week ago that she came out with this product called the immunity booster berry from her brand halo beauty this one kind of tripped everybody out because they're like she has not done any type of promotion for this whatsoever it literally just silently came on to the uh website the halo beauty website and people started reporting about it and saying why is she coming out with product if she's not doing any videos however i look this is just my personal opinion however within this video i kind of don't really have too many opinions for once i know that's a shock for you guys but I do have this one little bit of opinion. 
When you're a business, you know, owner and you are, you know, trying to grow your bank account, obviously, and grow your brand, when you have set launches for a brand, no matter what's going on, whether it be some type of drama or some type of scandal, you still have to put those products out there because you've already made the investment to formulate this product and you obviously purchased it. So I know a lot of people are kind of like, girl, why are you coming out with this when you're gone from the internet? However, you do have to think about, she already spent the money on this. She already created this formula. She already did it. So why is she just going to let it go to waste just because she hasn't been on social media? Which I do want to say in my personal opinion, I'm kind of like curious what she's actually going to do when it comes to YouTube. Like, is she just done and she's going to move forward with like Tati Beauty and uh, Halo Beauty? You know what I'm saying? Um, because so far to my understanding... The products have been super, super successful. Um, a lot of people, and this is what I wanted to get your guys' opinion about because I was actually looking into, let me go ahead and read about this right here. The uh, Halo Beauty Kiwi Skin Booster. For some reason during winter time, ugh, my skin gets so dull. It just gets so like, ugh, you know, and I don't want to hear drink water because y'all, I literally drink nothing but water and White Claws and Trulies, but that has water in it though, technically, okay, just saying. But anyways, um, I was kind of like, you know what, during the winter, my skin gets so dull, so I was looking at trying this because I hear nothing but positive things. I have not heard one bad thing about Halo Beauty, honestly, and uh, Tati Beauty as well too. Uh, everyone loved her palette. So this right here is what I wanna try, which is the Kiwi Skin Booster. So this is what it says, and y'all, when I read like the claims on it, I'm like, oh, I'm low-key sold, but I do wanna get your guys' feedback first because like I said, y'all just know everything, and so many people have tried this, so maybe you guys can give me some feedback and let me know, is it worth trying? So this is the claims right here. It says minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, supports collagen and keratin production, supports clear and radiant complexion. I need that right now. I'm starting to break out on this side. Oh, it's bothering me so much. Anyways, supports a natural moisture barrier for hydrated skin. And I'm like, y'all, I need that during the winter. My skin just gets a little bit more dry during the winter. And it kind of bothers me. Anyways, um, inhi inhibits bacteria, balances pH, and renews skin. So this is for $29.95 and it comes with 30 capsules. So I'm assuming maybe you take one per day or two per day. Um, I would imagine that it would be a monthly supply. So I'm just assuming that it would be one per day. But I don't really know because I did not read. Uh, oh yeah, it says right here, serving size one capsule. I'm really curious about this. So if you guys can give me some feedback on that because I have been intrigued because I just keep on hearing such good things. So I'm just kind of like, hmm, is it worth it? Anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the product that she actually just released, which is the Immunity Booster. So this right here, okay. I know I said that I don't really have too many opinions in this video. I lied. Okay, here goes another opinion. This is $17.50 for 14 packets. And I just want to say, okay, because this is what, I, look, in my mind when I read this, and obviously I'm a very, like, uneducated person. I'm not the smartest. You know, I was about to say the smartest crayon in the box. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, okay? When I look at this, I think of, like, emergency, you know? And if you guys do not know, emergency is, like, way cheap. Like, y'all, look at this right here. I actually <laughs> pulled up a screenshot from Target. You get a pack of 30 emergencies for $9.99 and she's selling a pack of 14 for $17.50. So this is what the about section is. It says fortifying immune support, protective antiviral ingredients, balances electrolytes, maintains hydration, sugar-free and no artificial colors. So these are the benefits right here. It says our immunity booster is formulated to fortify your immune system to help protect against seasonal cold and flu season. Each bag comes with 14 individual serving packets that you can simply pour into a cold or room temperature beverage. It's made in the USA with the highest quality ingredients in a state-of-the-art facility that manufactures according to the strict FDA guidelines, and there are no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, and absolutely no sugar. Halo Beauty is made with a lot of love and none of the bad stuff, and we believe that you're gonna love it. So, you know, it sounds like a good thing, and like I said, you know, so many people have said Halo Beauty has been really, really good and helped them out with their hair, nails, and skin. So, um, I'm sure it's a good product. However, $17.50 for $14, I'm just kind of like, that's expensive in my personal opinion. That's something that I probably wouldn't try because if I kind of wanted to b build up my, you know, immune system, I would just get emergency. And for some reason, I don't know why I really like the flavor of that. Everyone's like, ew, it's nasty and chalky. And I'm over here like, girl, give me another one. <laughs> it tastes so good. And drink it with some vodka too. No, I'm just playing. Don't drink it with vodka. Don't listen to me. Anyway, so that's her product right there. I do want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on her releasing a product while she is gone from social media. Like I mentioned before, I think that she's running a business and you know what? She's obviously, she's gotten so much backlash from her posting that Breaking My Silence video. So she's probably like, oh, I'm so over the internet because as we know, the internet can be such 
such a wonderful place, but it can also be a really, really dark place and just very, very hard for people. And it really does take a toll on people's mental health. So um, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I just feel like she's running a business. But you guys, you know, let me know what you think about it. Are you guys upset that she's not getting out here promoting the product, talking about the product, you know, um, explaining a little bit more details on her channel? Because a lot of people now this day and age have an expectation when you have a YouTube channel, they're like, get on YouTube and talk about that product. I want to know from your mouth what it's supposed to do, what it does, you know, rather than reading from a website. But um, you know, like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on that one. All right, y'all. And now for Shane Dawson, he's actually been gone from social media since June 26. However, he has made some posts on Instagram. He has made some Instagram stories um, for Rylan when he was coming out with the sip, which I did talk about in a previous video before. He basically just came onto social media to support Rylan and say, hey, this is my future husband, my current fiance, and I'm going to support him on no matter what. And he said that he is going to be coming back to social media pretty soon, but he's still taking his time, um, which his cancellation was so huge because of the things that he said were just... They were really, really bad and honestly very unforgivable for some people out there, which I totally understand um, because the things that he has said and done has been pretty rough, you know. However, I do want to say everything of his, like, yes, it was years ago in the past, but he had made a comment. I believe it was, I, I could be wrong about this. He had made a comment within the H3 podcast that he says every two years um, it gets brought back up again. And ironically enough, this year was the second year it got brought back up again. And he always has to do an apology video because I think that the more that he grows, the more new fans he's getting so the more people are kind of like digging up his past and saying okay you did this this and this and then it brings more and more awareness to it so then people obviously get you know outraged and offend by, offended by it so he has to come forward and do a you know apology video um which he did on june 26 which is his video called taking accountability and this was his apology video for all of the things that he's done and said within the past i think during this time he was really put on the limelight because um the whole jeffree star situation and given with the conspiracy uh collection and then everything had came to light with Tati when she made that video and she basically had said Jeffrey and Shane were in her ear basically kind of I would say kind of like getting towards the fact that Shane and Jeffrey put Tati up to making this video the by sisters video which we know is like oh my gosh y'all I was looking for that video but I guess she deleted it and I think like the last time I had saw it it had like 42 million views I was like dang that was a big video y'all and that was during that time I just felt so bad for James I know everyone was canceling him but I was reading everything I was like oh my gosh I don't even like James and I want to give him a hug I was just like I feel so bad for him like it was severe, and that just shows you, you know, how bad the internet can be. But anyways, right here, talking about the product, so he actually released, um, he released multiple things from his merch. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I'm going to be talking about this one because I guess he was working on this for a while, and he did mention it within the Conspiracy Collection. He came out with his own version of slime, so this is what it is right here. The Shane Dawson, um, this one specifically is a lime green slime, so it says, this pre-made lime green slime is super stretchy, never-ending fun. Store your slime in the provided pig logo container with the lid on so it won't dry out when not in use. Available in four colors, all with a root beer scent. I think that's actually kind of cool um, that it has a root beer scent, but to be honest with you, like, I don't know, playing with things like that kind of like grosses me out. Like, I don't know, it just feels, it makes my hands feel dirty. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I have some, my, my friend has a, a son and he likes playing with slime and every time I'm there, I'm just like, Ew. like, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much germs up in there. It just kind of like grosses me out. So anyways, a lot of people were saying, okay, how are you coming out with this product and you're promoting it on your Instagram, but you're not making any content. So a little bit more people were actually mad at him because as to where Tati was coming out with her product, she wasn't promoting it at all. She was just kind of like silently putting it on to her website but Shane actually went to his Instagram stories to promote this um, and people were like mmm you've been gone for a long time why aren't you making any content you're just over here throwing some products in our face kind of like a cash grab but once again as I had the opinion with um, Tati about her creating her brand I I, I feel like, you know, they're just growing their business and this is something that they've obviously already made an investment in before their cancellations or before their scandals. You know what I mean? Um, so this is what he said actually right here on his Instagram story. He said, I wasn't going to post about merch because I feel weird doing that, but I know people appreciate sales. So I wanted to let you know about it. Everything is 40% off. This is for the Black Friday sale. And also the slime, which I've been working on for a long time is finally out and I really love it. No pressure to get anything, obviously. I know there's way more important things to spend money on right now just wanted to let you know because i know sales are something people enjoy hope you're having a good safe black friday and then this is the post right here with the pictures of all of his sell items so a lot of people were obviously you know bothered by this because they're like 
you've been gone from social media. Why are you, why are you doing this? But moving forward to right here, actually, um, right after he had posted about the slime coming out now uh well not now actually because now i looked at the site and it's no longer on sale this was the slime right here that says get a free slime of your choosing when you spend 50 dollars or more so a lot of people were saying okay he probably ordered a lot of units of slime and expected them to just fly off the shelf and now they're not selling um obviously i don't know about that i don't know how it goes with the businesses because um i would imagine a new product obviously to sell however he has been gone from social media and um you know his product had came out and i don't no, I think it's really cute. I'm not into slime, like I said, but ever I, I do think that it's actually really cute. So that's Shane Dawson's new product right here. And, um, you know, you know what I have to say about this, honestly, in my personal opinion, is if you don't like it, don't buy it. You know what I mean? I, I sometimes don't understand why people get so bothered by certain things but everyone's fully entitled to their you know thoughts and opinions obviously as i am a very critical person i am a very opinionated person and i get on the camera and uh give my opinion so i always just say hey if you don't like it don't buy it if you don't like the person don't support the person you know what i mean that's it anyways y'all you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout